So we are back with a little more Resident Evil Revelations 2, Episode 1, Part 4? This will be the fourth part. So many numbers. I think we're going to I think we're gonna finish Episode 1. Yeah. There's a chance this may be a very short episode. No, I think there's more after this. We've we'll seen, we'll we've see, seen. yeah. We'll see what they do. So we're obviously, we're almost caught up to where Claire and Moira right. were, but I, obviously they've probably gone elsewhere right now, right? Right. What's weird to me is that, like, so they were able to make us do this whole facility again, but it was not, because it's kind of a not super linear area, it yeah. wasn't exactly the same, but, like, how is this part going to be any different? Because really, yeah. we just ran in a straight line and then we're climbed up the tower. Well, cool. it's night, so it's spookier. Yeah. And also, I mean, it's worth noting, like, we didn't really do much outside as, as Claire and Moira. We just kind of came out here, walked up to the tower, and started a cutscene. Yeah. We didn't even fight anyone, so... Right. so. Maybe we get to shoot some dudes. Oh, I remember there was one part where we couldn't get through, like, into this barn area. Oh, right, yeah. She's got strong legs! I was wondering what possible contribution she could have to our, our team. It turns out she's got this strong barn legs. She should be able to get into. Oh, you're right. Get in there. Oh, there's a thing on the ground. Ah, we'll get it on the way out. Um. Whoa. Boop. Wait, go back and open the door. What do yeah, I do? Yeah. You need to break the lock. See anything around there you can use? She's got strong legs. I guess Barry wasn't listening. She just used her strong, strong legs to do it. What are you? Oh, wait, there was an exit. Yeah, there was a prompt. Is it a brick? Oh. Yeah. Why point at it first. Give it a nice big point. I think you can go up and just, like, hit it. I don't think you need to throw it. Let's see. Uh. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Why was the brick steaming? Uh, you should get right over here and point at that shiny. Oh, right, right, right. I can't, I can't let you miss anything here. Nice. You know what I do like is that, um, for a game that's kind of built around... There was a crate there, what are you... Oh, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so, I was in little girl mode, I couldn't break it. Although, I wonder if she could do it while holding the brick. Oh, hello, floating piece of wood. Ooh. For, uh, sorry, you were saying. I'm oh, sorry. Um, there we go. Clean it up. It's kind of nice that like you could walk up to that area and just hit A on it, and it'll automatically switch characters rather than like yeah, just beep at you. Yeah, absolutely. Resident Evil Revelations Two could be more inconvenient if it wanted to. That's my review. <laughs> so ten out of ten could be more inconvenient. Yep. I, we haven't discussed this. I will be writing a full review of this oh, for real? after okay. we finish it. So uh, that review will be on the site when all of the episodes are complete. So you're getting to uh, people are getting to watch part of my review process here. Mm -hmm. They don't get to watch the part with the candles and the kind of the seance and mm -hmm. all the occult stuff because that's obviously embargoed. Well, yeah, and also, you know, when I check my bank account, I'm like, okay, how much did Capcom put in? Right. All right, let's put it into the generator and figure out how, how much score that equals. People who are wondering, it beep is, boop, beep, boop. it's $1 per point. It's a pretty easy ratio to figure yeah. out. What the? Well, okay, that's... Huh. That's not great. You remember um, that game, The Suffering? Yeah, I do. Is this The Suffering? This is I, like, I, I'm suffering right now, hello, I tell you. Hello, no, I, I like this. Honestly, game so between far about suffering. between Barry's face and that monster, I feel like this is my slash fiction of the suffering in the order. The suffering, <laughs> the suffering order is what it's called. Yeah. Go to fanfiction.net and type it in, you'll find it. What was it doing? Oh, it was just uh, hanging out with its buddy. What's <clears throat> down here? Don't go down there yet. Ugh. Oh, you can't go down there. Look at the wait. Oh. Look at the spooky grass. Is that the wind or just you moving? No, it's just me. I thought it was the wind, and I was like, "That's scary." Nothing to be afraid of here, Phil. Don't worry. Whoa. Ravenholm. I wonder what the maximum amount of bricks she can hold is. It looks like just one. I think she drops another one and picks it up. Yeah, you're right. It's a little bit, a little bit of a. Uh, of Last of Us in that? Oh yeah, sure. It's interesting. I, I kind of dig it. I kind of want to get into like a combat situation with her. 
while holding a brick and just do that brick melee attack that we used on that lock. Hey, what's that? What is that? What's wrong? Oh, we're gonna see it as her. I think I saw something. Whoa! Oh boy. Oh jeez, that's some that's some uh Revelations One type stuff there. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's, that's yeah, gotta be a weak point, right? right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna go get some distance on it. Then do that speed 180. Classic Resident Evil. I don't know if that is classic Resident Evil. I mean, classic Resident Evil, I mean Resident Evil 4. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Classic. You know, modern Resident Evil. There's one thing that left out of the brief. Wait, go, back, go to the, your left here. Crazy. Oh, turn around. Where are you going? There was like a table over there that I just wanted to make sure if there was anything on. Like by that door. In the dark, that kind of looks like a typewriter, which is maybe the scariest thing to see in Resident <laughs> Evil. Oh, right there. there we go. What's yeah, there's like a... Oh, cool. Alrighty. Sure. Back there, actually. We did it! I wonder if I'll be moving through this area as, a. Uh... As the other two now. I don't know, honey. Let's keep our eyes peeled in case there's more. I'm at the point now where I would actually put down money that that is actual Barry. We're gonna figure it out at some point. We're gonna put the pieces together ourselves. Oh, there's an herb there, I think, too. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's, it's just, just shiny the grass. light was hitting it just right. Shiny grass. Oh, spooky shadows. They don't really work on the tree, but. Spooky shadows on the ground. Right. I've got a, I've got an 18 month old son. Mm -hmm. He gets really excited when he sees a shadow and says hi to his shadow now. Oh. And then I have to explain to him that that shadow, if he's not careful, could kill and eat him. Right. It's important to know. Yeah. yeah. It's another spooky yeah. one. Yeah. 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 You handle that perfectly. Thank you. I'm glad that you're whispering <laughs> in a way that the, the Phil, audio will not get Phil, picked up. Phil, the connect is plugged in. You don't want them to hear us. That's true. Alrighty. Oh, 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 oh. I like that when you kick them over, there's all of a sudden a big weak point on their back for stabbing. It's just always on their back when you kick them over. Mm -hmm. It's convenient. Ugh. Is that what happens when you die? I, I mean, you know, nobody knows. Nobody's seen it happen. <laughs> oh! Alrighty. Let's get the weak point out. Where is it? Oh. oh. She's like dancing over there. Alright, let me. Oh, there it is. Uh, is it always gonna be the right leg, or? Let's, let's move forward with that assumption until yeah. proven otherwise. Sounds. Sounds tactically wise. Alrighty. There's the next light. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that it's not oh, the previous light. Oh, get these little girl hands. hands. <laughs> A small hand. Alright. Yeah, you kind of figure it out without even. You're really good at that. Got these small hands. You know what? I noticed. Yeah. Uh, you know what they say. I know. What do they say? Small hands, cool friend. Cool <laughs> friend? <laughs> Great co-worker. Clearing. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Well, there's episode four if we just want to skip ahead to that. Yeah, let's just jump ahead. Alrighty. We are progressing. That's good. I like this environment a lot. This is cool. Giving you some more options for stealth Freaks stuff. Had some of the same symptoms as the Roboros. What's the Roboros stuff? Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, a virus some bad people used in Africa a couple of years yeah, ago. Yeah, so that was the Resident Evil 5 ah. stuff. How did it get out here? And I think it was based on the Resident Evil 4 stuff? Hmm. With, like, the crazy... Things bursting out of people's heads and stuff. Oh, 
Oh. Everyone in the Resident Evil <clears throat> universe apparently is fluent in Russian. Can't believe it got out of there alive. Not in one piece. I won't alive. say in one piece. Oh yeah, I won't say I got out in one piece. Got it. I won't say the words one piece. This is an anime band. Here I'm not a Hollywood. fan. I met up with some guys in the force. They didn't believe me. Can't say I wouldn't believe me either. After all, who would dare go up against the one who saved us all? Hmm. No, no signal. Got it. So the Overwatcher lady was like, "I'm going to save y'all from this virus," and then she's like, "Just play it. I'm going to do messed up tests." Wait, is there anything else in there? Is there like another way around? Or do you have to go out through the? Maybe you have to go out around the other way. Looks like. Let's try it. Whoop. I could probably break this lock. Here is a lock pick. Oh, they have to make a lot master of unlocking joke. Oh, there's point. a hold on. There's a there's a thing for you to shoot at, right? Is right. that what that is? No, I'm just seeing stuff. I thought that rope was like an emblem for you to shoot at. Mm. So what do you think? If they would make it was a circle shape. I get it. Oh. I feel like if they're willing to make a Jill sandwich joke, yeah. there's now a 80 to 90% chance they're going to make a Master of Unlocking joke somewhere sure. in their life. And uh, some sort of itchy tasty reference, perhaps? Oh, in the little, like, turning into a zombie journal? Yeah. Ooh, firebomb bottle. Pretty sure there's already so you know more about, uh, more about Resident Evil than you let on. Yeah. It's just, you just pick it up, I think, culturally from a... My nerds. I like the idea of thinking of zombies as nerds. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> go, go read your manga, geeks. Geek zombies. Dweebs. Oh, that's a map. I see a map there. Oh, heck yeah. That, ooh. Oh, making our own bottles of stuff. And uh, You're mouth. just gonna drink? You're yeah. just gonna make a bottle out of drink? I'm gonna combine that alcohol with my mouth. Oh, perfect place for combining. Nice. I feel like we could probably make tourniquets with some of these bandages we've uh Okay. I feel like let's see here. That thing already does much damage. Seven hundred damage, one hundred damage, eighty-five. The, okay. the problem is your your uh, magnum. You're not going to use too often because it doesn't have a lot of ammo. Right. Uh, so I would put any upgrades into your pistol or your assault rifle. Right. I'm kind of thinking assault rifle for now since it's a damage upgrade. Because if the assault rifle, it wouldn't take long for me to get it doing the same damage my pistol does, which would be nice. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. My assault rifle now does almost as much damage as my pistol. That's awesome, actually. Yeah, that's really good. I think that's a good choice. Throw my. Uh, what you should do that combination right now too. Oh yeah, I can do that on the fly here, right? So I can combine a green herb with a cloth to make a tourniquet. To make three tourniquets. That's cool. No, it's three. That's just three is telling you the number of green herbs that you have. Mm. Okay. I think. Right. See, ooh, now I've got five tourniquets, so I think maybe it was. Oh no, you were right. And then uh, that's very generous of them. And then uh, combine the empty bottle. You make an exploding bottle or a firebomb bottle. Oh, uh, I think either of those are good. Well, let's do exploding. Now we're talking. It's pretty smart of them to make it so. Uh, <clears throat> there's sort of one big major area, but like, there's at least some new stuff to explore yeah. when you get to part two. And I, it's not just a total, like, retread of the exact same stuff. Right. Um, the radio tower's just ahead. And I, I have to imagine that that's the formula this is going to follow for episodes two through four. But I guess we'll see. It's always going to be Barry, like, two steps behind. That's old. Two steps behind Barry. Well, not necessarily, but I do think it's going to be like, 
here is 75% of what's in the episode, and then here is backtracking, and then the other 25%. Sure, yeah. I feel like this area is too big and too empty for there to not be a big fight here at some point. Although maybe there, I mean, there is kind of like a horde mode type thing. There is. Um, yeah. I wonder if that's a... This could be an environment for that. Shit. Oh, why'd you have your light on? I, it was spooky. Ah! I thought I was going to sneak up on it, but he's, he's too smart. So that lag. I don't think, I think your time for sneaking up is gone. Maybe, yeah. Uh, they don't really seem to have, like... Uh, oh, she healed you. Nice. So his thing was not... Oh, there it is. It was on the back then. Alright, so it can be in different places. Okay. Um, I would also use an herb yourself, if I were you. Okay, alright. Oh, that wasn't even... I don't know what I could have done. Maybe if I was crouching while I opened the door? Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. Can you open doors while crouching? These are the questions. <laughs> Got it. Those are the sort of moral dilemmas that uh, a game like this really deals with. Mm -hmm. That's what Resident Evil's all about. Sneaky boy. Okay, try opening that door. We'll yeah, I don't think I win. win. This... It's kind of, I was worried there was going to be a spooky man in here, but no. This is just like that Kafka story about the man who's presented with two doors and one of them has a spooky guy in it and the other one uh, doesn't. Remember oh, that? Oh yeah, it's like a metaphor. <laughs> ah! Damn it, there's a power source. Well, let's find out. Well, luckily, uh, now that we have the map, there's just like a big ol' um, some blue dots on the map telling us exactly where to go, so mm -hmm. and this will save us some backtracking. Nice. Come on, Barry. Don't be scared. It's okay. Don't be scary, Barry. So it looks like mm. they want you to go through here. That doesn't look very... It looks pretty locked. That might be one of the most locked doors I've ever seen in a video game. Alrighty. Well, we can get through here, I think. Just based on what the map is telling me. Right? Looks like maybe you have to go around. Maybe, yeah. Uh... Alrighty. Ooh. Can you climb up those? Hmm. I'm just gonna rub up against it until I get a prompt. That is my solution to problem solving. That's how that's how dating works for me. Yeah. So you get a prompt. Yeah. Alrighty, maybe we can uh find. I'm some... so lonely, Nick. Oh. <laughs> oh, hidden item. Point at it. Well, I'm pointing. Right, so maybe what we can do is we can look for a little girl footprints. Oh yeah, good call. That seems to be this game's version of a hint system. Go up over here, because I don't think we ever went in this area. Oh, oh got it! Oh, so this is where we jumped down, huh? Okay. I guess go back in that building? <laughs> Spooky house? Yet again. There we go. So maybe those blue dots only indicate where we're going to try to end up after we finish this area. It doesn't seem to really help us solve the, uh... <coughs> so dark. Oh, wait. I see something. Yeah, I see What is there. that? Hmm. Maybe it's just a brick. It might just be a brick. Yeah, it might just be a brick. You'd be right. Yeah, it's a break. You sure did point at it, though. I pointed at the hell out of that break, yeah. Like, you, it was uh, my job. You really showed it who's boss. Hmm. Maybe we should look up.
No way. All right. Wait. Hmm. We're gonna have to smash through the gate. Yeah, we should be power for that. Oh, the. Yep, there you yeah, go. Yeah, man. Well, we, we got video games on. There's this. There's this thing. They sure video gamed us. You know what I did not consider when powering up my assault rifle? What? It's just as powerful as my pistol now, but it is not anywhere near as accurate. Oh, oh you are out of ammo. Oh, just punch a dude in the face. I don't even care. Oh, we lucked oh, out. <laughs> I'm gonna do the old run him around and turn Watch him out. Out. There might be more guys in here. Oh, he just covered his thing up. Oh no, that's another one. <laughs> you should throw your thing at them, I think. Yeah, fireball. I I was exploding actually. Was there a third? Oh jeez. Ah! Yeah, maybe the explosive ones don't do much against them. I think these guys are more fire prone. Uh I would heal too. Good thing, good. Um I do like I mean I don't know, I didn't play Resident Evil 5, so maybe you can tell me, but I it is kind of more fun to fight an enemy whose weak point is randomized every time, you know? Sure. Something more I think that's something they've done previously as well. Pre-evil. Alright. Oh man, it's always the last place you look. I like that it looks like by hitting his arm they took away his weapon too. Alright. Oh god. Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Knock him down. There you go. Whew. I'll go ahead and unlock this for later. Oh, there we go. Yay. Fight, oh. every fight everybody in. Oh, there's a crate there. Oh, whoops. Oh, and it's a brick? I think it's a brick. Most of these crates have a very floaty lids. Ah, uh, big old power generator. So far we are two for one on getting the power running puzzles in this game. How many more do you think there are before the end of episode four? Oh boy. Uh, we'll keep a tally. Let's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and guess five total. We've had two in episode one, but I think they're going to spread them out. More They'll slow down after this. They don't want to... Oh, now I gotta go all through that house again? So I think the intended order of operations for this was for us to walk up to the gate, yeah. press A on it, nothing happens. You did, we did it in exactly the wrong order. Yeah. And then on top of that, didn't interact with the gate for a while. Yes. There we go. And I mean, I just want to really clarify for anybody who's watching. Clarify, god damn it. Uh, uh, I really want to drive home watching. You want to verify, watching. right? Ah, Fucking, I told you! Ugh. I told you. Yeah. The struggle. The struggle to not make self-referential jokes is very real. <sighs> okay, well they got both of those out of the way in episode one. What's left? What are other iconic Resident Evil lines that they haven't made poops on yet? Like I said, uh, itchy tasty for sure. I don't know what else though. I still right. think we're gonna get another Barry sandwich joke from Barry. Okay. Uh, I hope this isn't Chris's blood. That could yep. happen. Mm -hmm. I gotta do that. I hope this isn't Claire's blood. This seems good and this seems promising. I know I said this last time, but say what you will about the writing in this game, it's not like boring, and that's a relief. Yeah. Well. That was a really long way. Away. I prefer Goofy to self-serious. Yeah, and I also think that this is like they're actually striking a pretty decent balance here. Of that like, was actually one of my problems with uh with Resident Evil Six. Mm. It was very self-serious. Yeah, that's that's no fun. Um, and likewise, I think you can go too far in the other direction. I think yep. House of the Dead Overkill was trying way too hard. In this, it's like there are jokes here and there, there are references, but overall, it's. Like, they're letting the goofiness of the story and the goofiness of the puzzle speak for themselves. Yeah. Alrighty. That's my girl. That's her. 
That's my baby. That's my baby. So when she said that he does granny swearing, do you think she meant that he just says damn it and hell instead yeah. of shit and fuck all the time? I'm saying that again. He's like a video game character being edgy in the 90s as opposed to a video ago. character being edgy in the 2010s. Jesus, yeah. Happened. Six months My ago. My daughter's name is... Moira? Yeah. Why? Uh -oh. Remember, she was there six months ago. We saw her. Or some hey, version okay? of her or something. Moira. Uh-oh. What does red mean? Oh, it means infected, right? Yeah. She's What? Dun dun dun. Wow. All right. Wow. All right. Well, that's episode one of. Uh, I'm assuming. I mean, maybe there's something after this long load screen, but. Well, you'll you'll do the skill stuff, I guess. Right, right, right. But that's. Um, uh... But let's not load into episode two. On oh, that's two. preview. Moira was trying to get to that tower when I was with her. What? Wait, I where did that take me there? Can you do that? We've been infected with something. I promise I'll catch up. Is this the place? The faucet? Don't be scared. In and out my faucet. So you finally came. Uh, motherfucking island! Huh. Alrighty. Well, that looks interesting. Sure. Uh, this is cool so far. I'm looking forward to uh, to getting an episode two. Contemplation. Uh, we will be putting up the first part of our playthrough of episode two next week mm -hmm. uh, on Tuesday when the episode releases. So uh, come back and join us then. Yeah. Should I just skip through this and assign some skill points? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So we get, here's our chance to find out who did the voice of Barry. Don't want to sleep on that. I'm also kind of curious who wrote this, you know? Because this is not your typical Resident Evil script by any means. It's sort of it. It's your typical Resident Evil script from, like, the PlayStation 1 era. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess so. But that's what's so cool about it, is that it's like... ResidentEvil.net, of that course. Is that? It's where you can track all your progress across various Resident Evil games. Tosei still exists, apparently. What's Tosei? For a weird, small Japanese developer. Maybe not small, from the looks of it. <laughs> Maybe small was the wrong word. Story writers. There you go. Dai Sato, head script writer. Hmm. Interesting that it looks like they actually outsourced the script it wasn't done by Capcom it was yeah. Story Writers Inc. That's what it took. Also interesting, the credits are not skippable on any of the episodes apparently. Is that true? That's what I'm finding out right now, yeah. Oh, never mind. It's you the are way it's, wrong. You know what it is? It's the back button. How often is that the button? The end. Boom, I got an A, you got a B, I yeah, win. Yeah you got me. But I got these sweet three sweet. women and a berry. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, that's my kind of goof. Huh. But how many retries do I need? Zero. Three women and a berry. This is the worst. <sighs> Alright, skill settings. Let's... Alrighty. You don't have that many to go that many points to go with, oh, but uh, you can figure it out. You can also you can level up so it looks like you can level up some of these skills multiple times, or you could go into Ooh, new skills. Double attack after running five meters, triple attack and running ten meters. So these running stabs are like extra powerful. Yeah. Um, that seems like a good like if you wanna conserve ammo. Yeah, sure. I don't think I'm ever gonna use that. Yeah, probably not. Never crouching while shooting. Uh make the crowbar better. Increase your attack power with a brick. I'd love to just put all the points into Natalie's, Natalie's bricks. Yeah. Just do a brick-only playthrough. Do a brick run. That could be our New Game Plus. Yeah. I assume you can carry those over for New Game Plus. A follow-up. 
Oh, so like when an enemy's stunned, you can do that like... Yeah. Like, oh, I don't have enough berry points. It takes 4,000. I might just save them up, honestly. Sure, yeah. I think that's fair. It's it's really interesting the disparity in cost for some of these. This one costs 300, this one costs Well, 4, those are higher level... Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. They're further down the skill tree. What's weird, though, is the one after this costs 3,000. That's true, that is true. Let's. I don't. I want to. I don't want to look at those high end ones until later. Um, all right. I'll save the points then. I feel like we're pretty. Good. All right. Well, let's. Uh, let's quit out. Oh, we can't show this. Oh, it's oh. not gonna. It's not gonna actually. It is. Oh, how seamless. All righty. Well, that's it from us. We will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>